Welcome to Adrification. We're going to go through in the short tutorial just how to set up the app, how to set up the scanner, how to set up your inventory, everything. So let's get started. Okay. The Age Verification app is a, a white check on a red background. Start up the app. Uh, let me explain real quickly. You have uh, three different plans to choose from. You have the Jewel only plan, which is free. And what the Jewel only plan does is it creates all your Jewel uh, restrictions automatically. You don't have to do anything. It also creates all of your Jewel inventory. In other words, Jewel knows what products they have available and they automatically add these into your uh, into your inventory of your Clover. And the uh, Jewel plan also takes care of all of your Jewel reporting requirements. Uh, it all does it, it does it all seamlessly. You don't have to do anything. So that's all free as part of the Jewel program. If you get Jewel plus verify, then what you get is not only the, the uh, restriction of Jewel products, which is automatic, but you can also verify all your other products, all your non-Jewel products, you know, whether it's alcohol or whether it's cigarettes or any other restricted items that you have. Then we have the Pro Plan, uh, which is coming out soon. Uh, that includes a door mode. We'll talk about that later on. Um, it also allows you to create customers on the fly. And we have the option for picture ID. Uh, in case you're, you know, the driver's license doesn't scan, or if you have a, a ID that uh, you just want to, you just want to scan their driver's license from the front, and we'll do uh, character recognition and read it in. Door mode is where you can, um, like, at a bar or something where, <laughs> excuse me, a barcode or something where you are just scanning people as they come in through the door. So, so those are your various plans. There's Jewel, there's Jewel plus Verify, and then there's the Pro plan. There's also Verify by itself, which would be uh, able, you're able to restrict all products except for Jewel products, and you're able to, um, you know, create categories and restrict and everything. That's also called a classic plan. Okay. So to set things up, first of all, what you want to do is set up your scanner. If you have a scanner, it needs to be a Motorola DS9208 or a 2208 scanner. It's also called a Zebra 9208 or 2208. Um, you're required to have this scanner. Some people ask, can you use the camera scanner on the Clover? And the answer is no. Uh, and also Jewel requires one of these scanners. Okay. They're 2D scanners. And they're the only scanners that are qualified to scan the back of a driver's license. Uh, on the good side, these scanners are very fast and very efficient. You can use them for all of your products at your location. They also can scan off of like a uh, like off of a phone. So in the future, as driver's licenses get more high tech and you have to scan off of a phone, the DS9208 or 2208 will already be ready to, to handle that. So, so it's a really good scanner. They're about $150 on Amazon.com, so not too pricey, but make sure you get a 9208 or 2208. You want to set up the scanner, and the way you do that is you scan this first code, which resets your scanner and you know erase anything that on there from a previous owner if you know you got it used. And then you want to scan the setup, the setup code, which is the setup, second code here. Make sure you hide one code when you're scanning one and then hide the other when you're scanning it so that you, you make sure you scan the right codes in the right order. Okay, That'll set up your scanner to work not only with age verification, but also with your Clover in general. Very important. So step one, set up your scanner. Step two is you want to set up your inventory and your categories. Uh, and you want to set up your inventory and your categories using the Clover inventory app, okay, or you can do this on your merchant dashboard from the web. Okay, so what you want to do is, um, okay, you want to you want to go to your inventory app and create all your items if you haven't done so already. Create all your items that you're selling. Okay, like you'd use this add item button. You'd create the item. You know, call it a call it a wine or something or a wine bottle. Okay. Give it a fixed price or, you know, for the variable, you can put a variable price. Give it an item, uh, uh, item cost usually zero, and then the price of the item, tap save. Okay. So that's how you create all of your items that you're going to sell. Okay. But here's the key. After you create all your items, you want to create categories. Okay. Categories are like groups of your items. And so like what you can do is create it. Let's say we call a, we create an item category. Use the plus right here. We'll call it restricted alcohol. Actually, let's call it restricted vapes, okay? So once you create a category, you can use this pencil right here at the top to add all your items that go in this category. So what you can do is just basically, you can if all your items go in that category, you can just tap this right here, okay? Or And then you can unclick items that maybe don't belong in there. Or you can just click your items that belong in that category. 
Okay, so the point here is that is that tap on every item that belongs in your category. Let's call it restricted vapes. You could call it restricted alcohol, or you just call it restricted and put all of your items in one category. Okay, the point is is you just want to have as few categories as is necessary for restriction, and put all your items in those categories. Okay, then tap save. Okay, we're not going to do that because we already have some categories created. Okay, so does that make sense? What you want to do first is go to your inventory and you want to create all of your category, all your items. Then you want to create all your categories. Again, the fewer the categories, the better as far as restriction. And you can have items in multiple categories. So make sure you have at least one category called like restricted or restricted alcohol or restricted vapes, you know, something like that or restricted cigarettes whatever it is, make sure you have your categories in there and make sure all your items that are restricted are in those categories, okay? Then to set up the age restrictions, you would go to the age verification app. Now, if you got the jewel only plan, which is free, uh, you can't actually restrict any other item but jewel, which is automatically restricted for you, okay? But so we're assuming you have the age verify uh, plan or the age verify plus jewel plan, okay? And both those will let you restrict everything okay so what you want to do when you need to do a restriction is you're going to come over here and you're going to tap this plus okay and what it's going to do is it's going to pull up a list of all of your categories and these are the categories that you created on your inventory app and you can choose the i the, the category you're restricting okay so in this case let's call it restricted vapes there you go any item in category restricted vapes hit next what's the message you're going to get uh, well it can be like please check id right something simple something that you want your your clerks to see next what is the age that's required uh usually it's 21 in most states now there's a way to set that lower for some like minors or some states where you have a lower but make sure you pick your you know like 21 or something as far as, far as your age for the restrictions then name it you know let's call this in vapes okay and you would tap save yeah. so that's an example of a restriction we just created on any item in category restricted vapes okay you can also restrict other categories i'm going to go ahead and create another one let's say we're restricting ca alcohol category and we'll call this one please check id also okay next the age we're going to say is 21 and we're going to call it alcohol okay so so that's how you would create your various categories. Hopefully, most people are only going to need one or two restrictions, okay? So just make sure you got those set up. Then what you want to do after you create your restrictions is you want to set up your options. Okay, so you tap on this options button here. And see, we tell you jewel restrictions are already pre-configured. You don't need to set up any jewel restrictions. Uh, but you do need to set up some other things like your minimum age for your state. Okay, so right here, see lowest age to purchase restricted products. Well, you know what? Certain zip codes, if you type in your zip code and tap enter, we're going to pick that for you automatically. Okay, but basically, with you know some states like Texas, you can have the lowest age might be 18 because some some people are grandfathered in, so you can choose 18 right here, and that'll be kind of like an override. Anywhere between 18 and the age you picked in your restriction, we're going to pop up an extra message just to remind you you're kind of you know going to a to an age lower than your restriction, but it's it's part of this lowest age to purchase a restricted product, okay? Then you have the visual override. If you pick that, you'll get an option, like you may know people and you just wanna, you don't wanna restrict them, uh, then you can choose that. Auto validate order would mean that once you restrict, the order will automatic, the entire order will automatically be validated. So uh, we'll explain that a little bit more once we actually show you a sale. Enter expiration, for manual entry, you can require the expiration date be entered also. For scan means you're going to require people to to use the uh, the barcode scanner, and um, and then the manual entry is going to require an override. Okay, verify first item means hey, it doesn't matter if they're buying a pack of gum. Uh, whenever they come in on the very first item, you're going to ask for the uh, for the verification to occur. Okay, so you want to set all that up. You see auto allow photo ID is grayed out and create customers is grayed out. Those are options available in the pro plan, which we haven't released yet. Uh, also, door mode is something that's going to be released in the pro plan, and that's not released yet. But that's how you would set up all your features, and then you tap save, okay? Uh, door mode, if you have the pro plan, you'll see an option here for door mode. It'll show up. What door mode lets you do is it just you stay on this age verification app, and it lets you basically just uh, 
uh, um, check people in at the door, like when they're walking in, like for example, for a nightclub or a bar, where you just have somebody stationed there with a scanner. And so you would just tap on door mode and you'd be able to, um, you know, just scan people as they're coming in the door and it'll just flash the age of the person right as they're walking in. If you have photo ID, then which is part of the pro plan, you'll also be able to just take a picture of their ID and it'll, it'll, it'll do an OCR optical character recognition. It'll, it'll pick their age and show it to you on, at the door. Uh, that does require internet access. Okay. So that's how you set up your restrictions. Now, as far as usage, it's pretty simple. You just go to your register app and you just, it's business as usual. The app is meant to be seamless and work in the background. So like, let's say we purchase a alcohol restricted product. When you purchase it, we're gonna pop up a window right there. See, age, um, okay, this one said the, the restricted item was removed and um, that's because we don't have the restricted items set up to work correctly yet. Okay, so let's do that over again. So we didn't have that correctly set up, but okay. So you go to the register um, and then you type, uh, you pick an item from one of your restricted categories and sell it. See, we pop up the message that you put on your setup and you can remove item from basket or you can manual entry here, um, or you can scan the drivers, the back of the driver's license right now with your scanner. Okay. Now, when you scan the back of your driver's license, there's usually two codes on the back of the driver's license. You want to cover up the one on the edge of the driver's license. It's a, it's a smaller barcode and it's like a line barcode and it's on the edge. Make sure you cover that up so the scanner can pick the big barcode in the middle of your driver's license to scan. Once it's scanned, it takes about eight seconds and then it'll, sh and then it'll pick up the expiration date and everything and display all that and let you have a button which will let you um, verify. Okay, so I'm just going to do this manually. Okay, see that you get approve order or approve item. Now, if you approve the order, what you're saying is, is, hey, you don't need to restrict, you don't need to ask any more about this entire order, every item on this order, even if it's restricted, it's already been checked. If you only approve an item, then we're going to ask you for every single item on the order as you purchase it. This is important because if you have more than one person in the line and they're all checking out on the same order and you want to ID more than one person, you would make sure you only tap approve item instead of approve order. Okay. But so basically when you approve the order, we stamp it and, and, and we stamp the verified birthday as well as the date and time of the, um, which you can look up on your orders so that you have that ready as a reference if you ever need that to prove that you verified somebody. If you had chosen to enable visual verification, then you would have had an extra button that would have popped up. See, so as you can see future, um, till you do your next order, you, you didn't have to verify again. But now with the payment, so basically if you have the visual verification picked, then when you, purchase a restricted item, we have an extra button here. It says uh, approve item visually. And so you'll be able to just do the visual verification that way. Um, if you can't verify it, if you just try to get off the screen, we're just going to remove the item from that order. Okay. So you're basically restricting and locking it out. Okay. So you have manual entry. We also have a manager override. If you pick that, ma the, that the force is required, uh, that the the, that a barcode scan was required, then when you try to purchase an item, see, you won't be able to do this right here. You'll actually have to push a button that, that requires you to enter the manager employee pin code, which is, uh, you know, available from the employee's app. Every, every employee has a pin code and you have to give it a manager pin code. Then you can put in the, you know, the, um, the birth date information. And if you required the expiration date, you'd also have to put in the expiration information. And then you'd be given the options to approve or not. If you have the visual override, again, you'll just have a button for that. If you have photo ID, there'll be a button right here that allows you to take a picture of the, of the front of the driver's license. You want to take a picture of the entire front of the driver's license, especially the part that includes the expiration date and the uh, date of birth. That's really what we're looking for. So the bigger and more clear that is, the easier the photo ID is going to pick up correctly the uh the age or the ver the age from the dob and the expiration from the date of birth okay so that's how you use the age verification product if you have any questions you can text us on our text number which you can find on the age verification app itself by just tapping this uh, question mark right here so we take you to our help site
which uh, you can, you know, which you're looking at with the video, but also we tell you how you can contact us. And so, you can tap contact us right here, type that in. Now this won't work uh, from a Clover device. Really this, this is best done by going to the hv.helpsite.com and then um, just submitting that. Um, or you can reach out, but you know, you can, you know, with this video, you can also email us at help at appheaven.us. Again, that's help at appheaven.us. If you need to call us, um, you know, the best thing to do is just to, uh, just to email us and say, please call me and leave your phone number information and we'll call you back as quick as we can.